students in last video we discussed about magnetostatic some important questions now in this video we are discussing maxwell's equations in time varying fields so before that you remember one point here we discussed electrostatics as well as magnetostatics and in electrostatics we discussed two maxwell's equations and in magnetostatic also we discussed another two maxwell's equations now what are the modifications what are the assumptions which laws are required to convert into time varying fields this type of questions are asking in this video see here the first question which among the following maxwell's equations represents conservation of electric fields so here they are asking question uh, which maxwell equation in electric field is conservative there are two maxwell's equations in discussed in electric field one is divergence of d equal to rho v where d is electric flux density and rho v is volume charge density and second maxwell equation is curl a equals to 0 curl a equals to 0 this is the second maxwell equation maxwell first equation divergence of d equal to rho v is derived from gauss law and curl a equal to 0 this maxwell equation is derived from law of conservation of electric field and here uh, when the divergence resultant when the resultant of divergence is zero then we are considering that particular field component is solenoidal when the resultant of divergence is zero then we are considering the resultant of divergence is solenoid the vector field is solenoidal and one more point also we discussed here when the resultant of curl is zero then the corresponding field the corresponding vector is conservative so we discussed here two maxwell's equations one is divergence of d equal to rho v second is curl equal to zero when the resultant of curl is zero then that electric field component is irrotational which is also known as conservative that's why this equation is derived from which law law of conservation of electric field law of conservation of electric field what is law of conservation of electric field that means i'm explaining here law of conservation of electric field is what means the line integral of electric field intensity the line integral of electric field intensity is here the line integral e dot dl the line integral of electric field intensity around a closed path is always equals to zero so the question related bits i am explaining here which electric field is conservative means the answer is curl equal to zero option c is correct there are two maxwell's equation we discussed in electric field one maxwell equation is divergence of d equal to rho v second maxwell equation is curl a equal to zero this maxwell equation is derived from law of conservation of electric field the same equation in integral form is closed loop line integral a dot dl equal to zero so here first question answer is option c is the correct answer next question we are discussing question number two which one is faraday's law equation in free space we know that from faraday's law <coughs> induced emf induced emf is equals to d phi by dt the rate of change of magnetic flux is equals to emf and emf induced in a closed circuit and emf will be induced in a closed circuit when the flux is varying with respect to time your flux is what phi when the flux is varying with respect to time and emf will be induced in a closed circuit what is the statement the statement is known as faraday's law 
Now, the same thing I am explaining mathematically that is V E M F equal to D phi by D T. Now, we know that voltage in terms of electric field V is equals to minus line integral of E dot D L. V equals to minus line integral of E dot D L. This is the relation between potential and electric field in integral form. But here the condition is what? And E M F will be induced in a closed circuit. So, I am writing here closed loop. So, induced EMF equals to what? Minus closed loop line integral of E dot DL. E dot DL. Now, we know that one more formula that is flux phi. Magnetic flux phi equals to surface integral of B dot DS. Surface integral of B dot DS. Now, I am considering these two formulas induced EMF equals to minus closed loop line integral of E dot DL and flux equal to surface integral B dot DS. If I substitute here these two equations here then minus closed loop line integral E dot DL is equals to is equals to D by DT of <coughs> excuse me d by dt of surface integral of b dot ds surface integral of b dot ds this is the equation from this equation here i am explaining closed loop line integral of e dot dl closed loop line integral of e dot dl equal to i am writing minus d by dt of d by dt of surface integral of B dot D s. It is negative sign I am writing right hand side. From here closed loop line integral E dot D l equals to minus surface integral of dou B by dou T dot D s. Dou B by dou T dot D s. From here I am writing Stokes theorem here to left hand side. <coughs> apply Stokes theorem, apply Stokes theorem then this equation becomes closed loop line integral E dot D L equals to surface integral of curly E dot D S, curly dot D S. Now, I am comparing these two equation then final equation is curl A equals to <coughs> minus dou B by dou T. This is the equation, this is the answer, option C is the correct answer. Students, next question here we are discussing. Match list 1 with list 2 and select the correct answer using the codes given below the list. List 1 is given names of the loss, list 2 is given the corresponding equations. Here there are 4 laws are given in list 1, 1 Ampere's law, 2 Faraday's law, C Gauss law, D continuity equation. See here what is Ampere's law means the line integral of magnetic field intensity the line integral of magnetic field intensity around a closed path, around a closed path, the line integral of magnetic field intensity around a closed path, that is closed loop line integral h dot d l is always equals to, always equals to the net outward current. This is the law of Ampere circuit law, Ampere circuit law. From this equation, if you derived, you will get the equation is curl h equals to j. What is the answer here? Curl h equal to j. So, Ampere's law is related to list 1 a, list 2 it is 3. Maybe b or d is correct because here 3 is there. Closed loop line integral h dot d l equal to i net we know that current can be determined from current density. Then 
closure loop line integral h dot dl equals to I am writing here surface integral of j dot ds. From the equation the Maxwell equation we derived here curl h equal to j. Again list 1 see Faraday's law just now we discussed and EMF will be induced in a closed circuit is equals to the rate of change of magnetic flux. From that equation here just now we derived the equation is what means yes curl A equals to minus dou B by dou T. That means in list 1 B similar to list 2 4 that means 100 percent option B is correct but we will see C and D also. Gauss law that we derived in electrostatic what is that one the total electric flux through a closed surface the total electric flux through a closed surface is equals to the total charge enclosed by that surface. That means what I am writing here psi total, psi total means what the total electric flux through a closed surface is equals to the total charge enclosed by that surface. Psi total equals to Q enclosed then electric flux can be determined from electric flux density. So, I am writing here closure loop surface integral of d dot ds that is electric flux is equals to q enclosed that is volume integral of rho v dv. Now, by using divergence theorem we obtained what is the equation divergence of d equals to rho v divergence of d equals what rho v. I am writing here divergence of d equals to rho v how means by applying divergence theorem. So, this is about Gauss law. So, here in list 1 Gauss law is in list 2, two that is 1 right continuity equation continuity equation is derived from principle of charge conservation what is the principle of charge conservation statement means we know that that is I out is equals to minus dq in by dt, dq in by dt means what the rate of means d by dt minus decrease of the rate of decrease of charge that is minus dq in by dt the rate of decrease of charge within a given volume within a given volume is equals to the net outward current. So, if you substitute the equation I equal to surface integral of j dot ds q equal to volume integral of rho v dv then you will get a continuity equation what is the equation from this divergence of j equals to minus dou rho v by dou t is the equation. So, in list 1 option d option D is same to list 2 option 2. So, the correct code is A 3 B 4 C 1 D 2. So, from this topic most of the questions they are asking theoretical question only and that questions all questions are related to Maxwell's equations only. There are 4 Maxwell's equation we discussed in time varying fields divergence of d equals to rho v which is derived from Gauss law curl a equal to minus dou b by dou t which is derived from Faraday's law curl h equal to j plus dou d by dou t which is derived from modified ampere circuit law and last Maxwell equation is divergence of b equals to 0 which is derived from law of conservation of magnetic flux. Thank you students.